YouTube channel. My name is Rita. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so thankful for you to join me on this space. Um, so I want us to talk about Psalms 46 and verse 10. It says, be still and know that I am God. Be still. So there are two parts of that um of that scripture one is to be still and to other, and the other one is to know that he is god so let's start with being still it is very hard being still especially in our world today where we have been told we have to do and do and do and it seems like a lot of doing and less of being so we are being called to be still and as simple as that sounds it's not simple to most of us to do it is not easy for most of us to do because we are so used to being um to doing a lot of things to to making sure that every time we are busy doing something we cannot just stay still like this and just reflect and just be if we are going through a situation we are looking at how we can be able to solve those problems how we can be able to fix those situations we are always looking and if we are not looking then we are worried so we are doing something but the word of god is calling us to be First of all, be. You are a human being. So just be. Stop doing. Stop uh, worrying. Stop doing all those things. Stop fixing. Just stop. And I know that is so hard. That is so hard, especially for me. I just want to do and do and do. And recently is when I started taking, being very intentional with taking rests. I call, I call, I call it intentional rest, where I plan on that day. No matter what, I am not going to do anything. I'm just going to be still. I'm just going to be. I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to reflect on my life, to reflect on who God is. And when God is calling us to this kind of stillness, is to stop focusing on what is happening and start focusing on Him, you know, and knowing that He is God. He is God over that situation. He is God over that problem. He is God over that mountain. Whatever it is that is worrying us, that is keeping us up at night, He says, be still and know that I am God. Know that I am. I am exist as God, God over all, God over everything, God over all situations, God of the mountains, God of the valleys. It doesn't matter where you are. God is saying, be still, just reflect on me, just focus on me, wait patiently on me, just know, just know me as the God over that you know, just focus, go to the Bible, read about how God has delivered people through these situations. If there is no situation like that in the Bible, I am sure there's someone who has gone through it or is going through it and is talking about it. And they are talking about how God has taken them through it. So be still and reflect on God. Reflect on God as if, if it is lack, reflect on God as the provider. If it is, um, what else? <laughs> What am I thinking about luck? Uh, whatever it is, if it is sickness, think about God as Jehovah Rapha. Think about God as the healer. Go on that word of God. He says, I have sent my word and I have healed your diseases. Go over that word. Reflect over that word. What does it say about God? What is it saying to us? That is being still. Being still and focusing on who God is and knowing. Be still and know that I am God. God over that mountain. God over that situation. God over whatever it is. And he will be exalted high above that situation. He says, I will be exalted above nations. I will be exalted in all nations. But whatever it is, God is going to be exalted in whatever situation that you're going through. So if you have to do something today, is to be still. Be still and reflect on who God is. I hope that this was a blessing to you as much as it was to me. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.